Hey, what's up guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Check the description for all my information and I do all the Lee Code Hacker Rank solutions so you can check playlists of those on my channel. Um, I've been slacking on these videos. I've, I haven't made any in five days and I was on a long streak, but I'm going to hopefully get back into it right here. I want to know why because I've been doing Lee Code. I've been trying to understand these uh, dynamic programming problems when they get hard, like medium and hard ones. Like some of them get pretty hard, so I've been really trying to understand them. I've been watching um, this MIT Intro to Algorithms course. This guy's awesome. Uh, Eric Germain, I think is his name. He's really cool. Um, really smart dude. And the other guy too, but I, th I think he's easier to understand. Um, but anyway, this is minimum size of subarray sum. Minimum size subarray sum. So given an n positive integers and um, a positive integer s, find the minimal length of a contiguous subarray which the sum is greater than or equal to s. If there isn't one, return zero instead. Okay. So what they want us to do um, is we're we're given this array, right? It's positive integers. So we we see two, three, one, two, four, three. Um, we want the minimum size subarray, so maybe two and three or three and one, that um, the sum of the whole, all the elements in the subarray adds up to be equal or greater than this S that we're given, which is seven in this case. So, right, like we have two, three, one, two, um, that adds up to five, six, seven, eight, right? And it has to be contiguous, so we can't, if we did this, it would be six, right? But we would need to keep going an extra element, and then we have eight. So it is greater than or equal, but it's four. Now, here is the optimal answer, right? Four and three, because that adds up to seven. That's the minimum subarray. Um, so how do we do this? Have you figured out the linear solution? Try coding another solution. Uh, okay, that's fine. So we're going to go over the solution right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to... The, the way that you solve this problem, it's kind of a trick problem. It's pretty cool, though. Um, it's not really dynamic programming. It has, like, um, that kind of vibe to it. But um, there's it's going to be constant space. And what you're going to do is you're going to have two pointers. It's kind of more of two-pointer. Um, you set a pointer to the... Two pointers to the beginning, too. It's not from the end and the beginning. Um, you have one that holds the left boundary of the subarray you're going to grab and one that holds the right boundary of the subarray that you're going to grab. And you're going to just loop through. Your left's going to be set to, so let's say our left is set to zero. And let's just initialize a result for us. So let's get um, results is equal to dot max value, right? We'll set it to max. Um, we're going to have this left. We're going to also have a int, uh, we'll call it val sum. We're going to need a running sum for this problem um, to, you know, account for the sum at each subarray so we can make sure that it's greater than or equal to uh, s. Um, so this might be all we need, honestly. Um, yeah, I think so. So we're going to do a loop through the array. I'll explain this at the end. Um, if you don't understand, but we're going to do a loop through the array. We have our left, we have our val sum, and we're going to just be incrementing our val sum each time. So plus equals nums of i, right? So as we loop through the array, we're just going to increment our sum. So we'd have two, then we'd have five, then we'd have six. And now once we get over the sum that we want, we're going to do while well, val sum is greater than or equal to s. That's the condition they're looking for, right? Um, so once it's greater than or equal to seven, so we get to this eight point. Now we, our sum is eight and we're here and our left is at zero and our I value is at, um, zero, one, two, three, four. Then we know from zero to four adds up to eight. It's greater than or equal to seven. So we're going to have our result hold that answer, right? So result is going to be, we initialize it to a, um, max value because we're looking for the mins here so we're going to calculate a min every time and the min is going to be the min between result and um, i plus one minus left or no 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 um i no i plus one minus left actually works because the only problem is um we're starting at a um zero based index so we just when we're accounting for the length of the subarray we have to pretend like we're at one so we just do i plus one minus the left boundary. The left boundary would be zero in the first case. Um, I would be zero, one, two, three. 
uh, three. So we just turn, I, we do I plus one, that's four, minus zero is four, and that is the length, right? So just the, the plus one, don't worry about it. It's just to do with lengths. Index to length is always a plus one or a minus one annoying thing you have to add to your problems. So right, this works, right? We're, we're going through, and when we see that the sum is greater, then okay, there we go. So we found a we found an answer, right? We found this is the answer that we have right now in our result, right? Um, so now what do we do? Do we wanna set our sum to zero and then do this again and again and again? No. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to decrement our sum. So we're gonna do decrement um, nums of left and we're going to do left plus plus. Now let me explain how this works. We are we are, we currently have a sum of eight right here, right? And we're greater than it. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to decrement our sum of eight by the left value. So eight minus two is six. And now our array is this, because we increment left. So it's three, one, two, our array is six. So we're not, we're, we haven't gotten to greater than or equal to seven yet, right? So this loop breaks out. Um, we keep going, we add back to the val sum. The val sum gets the next number now, right? The next number is four, right? So the next number is four, that adds to six. Now we have 10, right? 10 is greater than or equal to seven, but the length of this is still four. So when we recalculate our result, we're getting the min between result and i plus one minus left is gonna be four again. And what you're doing is you're kind of incrementing your left, you're kind of popping elements off of the front of your subarray and adding them onto the end of your subway, subarray as you loop through and trying to find a smaller subarray where the sum is greater than or equal to seven. Um, and this is it, that's pretty much straightforward uh, how it goes and you know, you always wanna make sure that your result actually got changed. So we're gonna have some kind of condition down here. You can do a ternary condition, so we'll do a return result not equal to integer dot max value so if it's if it's not equal to the max value we will return the result otherwise zero because that's what they wanted they said return zero instead so in a ternary condition i like to put the condition in parentheses um and we can see if this will work and it works okay so there you go um, that was a long video but it's my first one back hopefully you understand it you're kind of going through the array you're popping you know, you have this initial sum of greater than or equal to seven. When you hit that point of being greater than what we're looking for, we're gonna pop this value off, that two, um, sorry, we're going to actually pop the, pop this value off, pop the two off. I Hopefully I explained that correctly the first time. You're actually popping off the left and adding to the right. I don't know if I said that right. I just didn't think about it. Two, three, one, two, you're popping off the left, right? We're decrementing our sum by the left, then we're incrementing the left. So this boundary is gone, and this is the rest of it. And then we added that four, and then we keep doing that, and then we have one, two, four, three, and then we keep popping one and two off at the end because the sum would be, you know, keep decrementing until we're there. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, let me know in the comments if I didn't do that good, but I did take a break, so I'm a little rusty. Maybe in the next few problems, I'll get back into it. So thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe. Thanks. See ya.